guys and welcome back here. I hope you like my new settings. I'm in love with it. This is a new lighting kit that I got from Amazon and if you want to check it out I'll put it in the description box. You can uh, follow the link and get it if you're interested in content creation or you just want to use it for fun. Anyhow, uh, we are here today to talk about an update on my boot surgery. <laughs> I had my breast augmentation one year ago, that was on the 17th of March. I asked you guys what you want to know about it and you all sent your questions. Please go and check the first one before you watch this video. And uh, yeah, I will also put some before and after pictures so you can see the difference and all the details about my surgery, um, about my surgeon and where I did it. Uh, uh, how much it was um, and all of that you will find in the first video. But before we get into the video, I want to thank Purple Garden for sponsoring this video. I uh, collaborated with them for a previous video of mine and they are a platform when you can do your um, tarot readings, you can get advice on relationships, on yourself, um, if you have any questions, if you um, are in a tricky situation and you don't know what to do, I really recommend uh, to get a reading done. They have a really good specialist, the best in the market and they have very good reviews. I trust them, I use them myself and uh, I'm a very spiritual person as I already mentioned in some of my videos and if you follow me for a while you know that I'm a Cancer, I'm very intuitive, I am think I'm a psychic as well so I might get into that one day but it's about the sponsorship today so don't forget to check their website they have really good advisors and you can um, you can chat with them you can uh, uh, give them a call uh, I think they even have the option for a video call um, if you feel if you don't feel comfortable at the beginning you can just uh, do it uh, via text and uh, uh, all the advisors are very friendly, very happy to help you, they give you um, very accurate advice and I had the best experience using them. Also there is a link uh, in my description box, so definitely check them out and give them a try. Now I will just go through the questions, I have my phone here and I will start with the first question that I have. Um, give me a second. The most frequent question that I get still to this day, how did I know what size to go and uh, how did I decide um, if I'm going under the muscle or over the muscle or bilateral and um, also uh, the profile of the implant. Um, the answer is easy and I think I did answer this in the first video but since this question is coming up so much I'll answer the size that I wanted to go for originally was a different size uh, I wanted a bigger one my surgeon measured everything and he told me the highest that he can go is 275 cc and uh, that was bilateral um, so bilateral means is half under half over the muscle because I have a petite frame I went with his advice he knows best, obviously, he's been doing it for so many years and he's been doing it on so many girls and uh, I've seen the before and after pictures of his work so I trusted him completely. Honestly, on the day of the consultation I was a bit disappointed because um, I thought that maybe he doesn't want me to go bigger, maybe they want me to come back in case I want to go bigger but it's not like that. Till today I'm so happy with them and I'm so happy that I trusted him with this and with his decision. He said that uh, he is not able to fit a bigger size in my pocket. Another frequent question is uh, what size, what cup size am I now? I got measured uh, a few months after my surgery and I was uh, 30 double D. Depends on the brand. For example, I have some stuff from Primark as well and in Primark in some of the bras that I got, I'm C, I'm 30C, and in some of them I'm double D or just D. So it's just tricky, it depends on the brand and uh, it depends on the fit of the bra as well. So it depends on many factors, but um, 
when I got measured at Ansamos, I was a 30 double D. The next question is, did you choose your implant type or did the surgeon choose for you? As I mentioned before, he chose everything for me, but the implant type, I was the one choosing it. I wanted high profile. There is two options, smooth or textured, and I chose the smooth one. Um, because uh, as I mentioned in my first video, I was reading something that bothered me a bit on the internet about the textured implant and I wanted to be on the safe side. But I do know girls, I've talked with girls that had textured implant and they have no issues, nothing happens. So yeah, it depends on uh, what your preference is and what your surgeon um, is going to advise you. The next question that we have here is uh, how many post-op appointments did you have? I had three post-surgery appointments. I remember I had two in the first month just for them to check my incisions and see how they heal and uh, give me the okay to shower. The third appointment that I had was supposed to be I think three months after surgery. Like my memory is so blank right now but um, it was supposed to be three months of the surgery but it was longer than three months because uh, the first appointment I had to cancel I think and the second appointment that I got it was a bit later because my surgeon was busy at that time so I had to get a later appointment but it was okay because I didn't have any issue and if I had any questions I also texted my surgeon on Instagram, I have his Instagram page and he's very helpful, he's always been helpful and he answered all my questions, all my concerns. He has been very very helpful and I can't thank him enough for that, I can't thank Enhance enough for the very good aftercare that I got, very good experience overall, not only aftercare, before uh, the surgery, the consultation was great, surgery was great and um, everyone was so lovely so thank you guys how did you feel after surgery was it over or under so after surgery i felt like i don't know where i am or like i felt really confused because that was the first time i had general anesthesia i didn't know how it is i was scared of how i'm gonna feel after i was um a bit confused for like let's say half a minute 30 seconds but then the nurse was talking to me and uh, i came back to myself i was in a bit of pain i do remember that straight after i woke up i had pain and i immediately because i hate pain i can't handle pain really so i remember i told uh, the nurse to give me something for the pain because i don't want to have any pain i don't want to experience it and she said that they just gave me something and it's gonna kick in a bit. I felt a bit uncomfortable because they put a band on the top. So the surgeon decides if you need a band or you don't. So he put one on me uh, so my breast can go uh, low faster. And that felt uncomfortable, that felt very very tight. I was very hungry as well and uh, I was very thirsty. That's how I felt straight after surgery. How long did it take for the scars to fade? Mine are still red. I have been three, four months now. Okay, um, this is a tricky question because I haven't been paying attention to my scars. I just noticed last month I was looking at them closely and I just noticed that they are barely there. I can't even see them. Before that, I um, was using some oil, uh, everything is in my Amazon uh, shop, you can check that out in the description box as well. So I was using some oil for the scars but I wasn't consistent with it to be honest. Uh, I was using it when I remembered it and um, whenever I was conscious about it. But other than that they healed very good. Um, now I'm one year post-surgery and I can say that they healed properly. You can't tell unless you are really close to it and you see that like thin skin and you are really analyzing it. But if you are not close to me like that you can't tell anything and um, it doesn't bother me at all. I had a message that said I had mine done in July. I hate them and I keep thinking they'll get better but can they change after 
because it's long. Okay, let me tell you guys. This can change. If you have a surgery, a breast surgery, they can change up to maybe two years, I think. I'm not sure. Like, correct me if I'm wrong. The past few months, I thought that they got bigger. Even some of my friends saw that and told me that I think your boobs just got bigger. And I was like, oh, yes. <laughs> and I thought I'm the only one who notices it. You know when your boobs grow when you're a teenager, you have that kind of pain. So that's the pain I was feeling. Um, and yeah, they did change a bit. Um, it's not like a massive change, but they, the volume is a bit more there, if you know what I mean. Uh, so be patient with yourself, they can change. If you hate them, like, I don't know, I think you have to talk with your surgeon and see, uh, figure out what's wrong or if anything is wrong. And depends what exactly you hate about them. Is it the size? Is it uh, the shape? Um, you can have a second surgery, you can correct it, so yeah, I don't know, but I'm happy with mine. Uh, how many weeks did you felt no discomfort at all? Hmm, this I need to check. I felt like they are part of my body and that they are properly healed, not properly healed, but I felt like myself again after two weeks. So I remember some girls uh, texted me and uh, said that... Um, they have a more difficult job, like they, they have to lift something or carry stuff and uh, I do recommend it everyone to take off work for two weeks because um, the first week um, I was actually alright after one week because of the muscle, like the breast muscle, you underestimate how much you use that and even like you use the breast muscle even to open um, a bottle of water or to just like open the door uh, if you have handles and all of that or like push the door so it's day-to-day -day stuff that you need to do and you use your breast muscle and uh, to carry stuff like I wouldn't say if you carry heavy stuff you have to get off work uh, for two weeks at least I had an issue with my SD card I don't know what was going on but I got it sorted now and we can continue the video so the next question is where did you get your stage 2 post surgery bra and what brand i'm five week post surgery and i need to get one i did not get a stage two post surgery bra i was still using the post surgery bra that i first got i was sleeping in those surgery bras for a while for a few months uh, i'm not sleeping in them any longer but once in a while when i feel the need or i just have those so uh, bralettes that I sleep that is something that you need to ask your surgeon they can advise you better regarding this stage I had my surgery yesterday and they feel so hard and uncomfortable when does this go oh girl I feel you because I hated that feeling it's not like I was in pain um, I wasn't in pain for a long time I actually wasn't in pain at all because I was taking painkillers and then after one week I uh, stopped taking them because I was feeling fine. After two weeks I was feeling that they are getting a bit softer and I was so happy about it because um, I wanted them to feel like normal boobies and um, yeah that was a great experience so uh, after two weeks they got uh, more soft and more soft with the time. Now that I'm so far after surgery they feel like mine they look like I never had a surgery done um, nobody can actually tell that I had a boob job done uh, you can't tell unless I maybe I wear like a push-up bra or like a push-up um, top but other than that you can't tell they look very very natural on me and I love that I have another question that comes in frequently and uh, I get this on a daily basis probably um, it's about my nipples. Um, I'm not sure if I'm allowed to say it on YouTube, but anyhow. Uh, the question is if uh, they change in shape. And the answer is no, they didn't change. They are as pretty as before. <laughs> so don't worry about that. I didn't lose any sensitivity. These are all the questions that you guys ask me. I have bikini hauls. I posted some bikini hauls after my surgery on my YouTube channel. So you can check that out as well. Thank you so much guys for watching this video. Don't forget to also check Purple Garden and um, get your readings done. Get uh, your advice that you need in your life right now. If you have some uncertainty about anything. Um, and if you want to 
know what your partner is uh, maybe thinking but is not communicating with you stuff like that the links are in the description box and also a discount code thank you so much for watching this video if you have any more questions about my surgery leave them in the comments i will try to answer all of them otherwise send me a message on instagram and i'm happy to answer them there as well my instagram page is georgia malia the same name as this channel forget to subscribe to this channel and give this video a like if you enjoyed it and you learned something new and i'll see you next time bye